Now we are learning new details about a man sources tell us is being held tonight in the Duval County Jail. Zebulon Perkins has not officially been charged with murdering a neighbor, Atlantic Coast High teacher Vivian James, but our On Your Side team has obtained a police report that says Perkins was found with her car just days after her body was found. Kaylee Tracy has been leading this story every step of the way, and Kaylee, you've just learned that Perkins was released from jail just last year. Yeah, that's right, Heather and Anthony. You're actually outside of Vivian James' home. You can see here she still has balloons outside her home. Family and friends leaving those from the vigil the other night. Those purple balloons, purple, her favorite color. But yes, according to records, we found arrest reports dating back several years. He was just released in September of 2019. Back to back national championship teams almost never happened for Zebulon Perkins. When he arrived here at the Potter's house back in 2009, he had a bad attitude and poor grades. I don't even know who I was, to be honest. That was Zebulon Perkins in high school in 2011. He was featured on First Coast News as a star quarterback at Potter's House Christian and led his team to an 11-0 season plus a prep football championship. Perkins told our sports director Chris Porter football and his coach helped turn his life around. This is why you coach the game. To see him, a kid that lost hope, now has hope. That's why you coach the game. A little more than eight years later, Perkins sits in police custody in connection to the death of beloved Atlantic Coast High School teacher Vivian James. First Coast News dug into Perkins' past and found he has arrest records dating back to 2012. Several of his charges are violent, including a list of batteries, resisting an officer with violence, and assault. The charges beginning just one year after he talked to us about the turnaround. Coach P is the, he kind of put the, the pieces together to help me get what I needed and help me out with everything else, like my attitude and all that. Perkins is now being held in jail on a $100,000 bond. And we did reach out to that coach who you heard from in that story and asked him if he still was in contact with Perkins, if he had talked to him at all, or just asked about him as a person while he was coaching him. He declined to comment right now. We'll be sure to keep you updated on air and online, of course, with all the developments in this story. And we'll have more for you, for you at 6 o'clock tonight on those previous charges on Perkins' record. But for now, reporting on the west side, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News, on your side.